Good morning, class family. It's a terrific Tuesday. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you're a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Start in the top right-hand corner with the date. October 1st, 2024. Dear class family, today is Tuesday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we'll learn letters and sounds. Next, we will do literacy centers. Then, we will do vowels. After that, we will read the poem, Soil, Water, Air, and Light. Last, we will ask and answer questions. It is a great day. Love, Miss Joyner. Oh, it is a great day. Okay, readers, we're going to look back and reread the message. Remember, that's what good readers do. They reread. They do this so their brain can understand the words on the page. Use your finger to point. Start at the top right-hand corner of the date. I noticed the month is a new month, spelled with a capital letter O-C-T, period. What does, that, what does that abbreviation stand for? will say the name of the month out loud. If you said October, you're right. Great job. Notice the capital letter O to start. Good writers and mathematicians capitalize the first letter of each month of the year because it's special and important. They also capitalize the first letter of each day of the week. Okay, readers, we're going to continue to reread from top to bottom and left to right. October 1st, 2024, dear class family, today is Tuesday, it is Tuesday, and it's a terrific Tuesday. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family. We do that every day, working on being a portrait of a graduate. We're practicing being a great communicator and collaborator by speaking clearly with our mouths and listening with our ears. That's what good communicators do. And you know it, class family, we're working on being a strong listener. Remember, a strong listener uses their eyes for watching, ears for listening, their mouth is silent, and their body is still in one place. Are you being a strong listener in kindergarten? All right, we're going to go ahead at this time and discuss the sequence of what we're doing in language arts. Remember, the sequence is the order of events from beginning to end. First, we will learn letters and sounds. We will, class family, will use so many resources, including our alphabet chart, to review letters, sounds, pictures to match that word, and American Sign Language. We'll use some other resources within the classroom as well to help us pump our brains with knowledge, including some YouTube channels, Jack Hartman's, Mr. B's, The Singing Walrus, and The Learning Station, just to name a few. Next, we will do literacy centers. We will, and you'll have time on your iPad. You'll log on independently, pass more units for LexiaCore 5 reading program. We're going to have some teachers meeting in small groups. We also are going to have a letter writing center. So remember to use the five pre-writing strokes. Good writers use these when writing letters, drawing pictures, and writing numbers. All right, let's practice together. We have up and around, touch, pull down, touch, push over, slant right, slant left. Okay, and then we will do vowels. Oh, we will. Get ready. Get excited, kindergartners and kindergarten teachers. Yesterday started the screening, the beginning of vowels for kindergarten, Virginia language and literacy screening system. Well, what does vowels do? It gives a snapshot of critical literacy skills at a single moment in time. It identifies students at risk for developing reading difficulties and provides instructionally useful information to target instruction. Vowels is the Virginia Department of Education sponsored literacy screener. 
And get ready, we have so many sections to do for the next couple of weeks. And you know it, we did the letter name section, which apparently is optional, doesn't make much sense in kindergarten, but we did it because we know we got to do everything. And so we did letter names and letter sounds. Today we're moving on to beginning sounds expressive and phoneme blending. Get ready, get pumped for vowels. And remember, class family, this is going to help us. Let's pump our brains with knowledge, share what you know. We're going to look at that data so we can help you in kindergarten. After that, we will read the poem, Soil, Water, Air, and Light. In our Unit 1, Plants and Animals Have Needs magazine, we will be reading this poem, Soil, Water, Air, and Light. Soil, water, air, and light, air, and light. Four things make a plant grow right. Soil, water, air, and light, air, and light. Make plants grow with all their might. Soil, water, air, and light, air, and light. We'll be reading this poem and looking at the photographs and doing some other things within this Last, we'll ask and answer questions. We will be uh, asking, asking and answering questions about the poem, as well as doing that throughout school today in kindergarten, because that's what we do at school. We ask and answer questions. We share our thinking. We practice being a great communicator and collaborator. It is a great day. Love, Miss Joyner. Oh, it is. It's fantastic. Get your fans ready. Fantastic. Our question for today is a, do you like question? And the question is, do you like peas? Well, do you? Think about your answer and get ready to be a great communicator and share your reason why. Do you like peas? 